mathematics as a language. Mathematics is a language. According to Galileo Galilei, the universe is a grand book which cannot be read until one first learns to comprehend the language and become familiar with the character in which it is composed. It is written in the language of mathematics. The laws of nature are written in the language of mathematics. As we know, chemistry, physics, and other sciences uses mathematical formulas to explain the different phenomena in nature. What is a language? According to Chen 2010, it is a systematic means of communicating by the use of symbols or conventional symbols. So language is a, is a means of communicating. It is a code humans use as a form of expressing themselves and communicating with others. Now what is the importance of language? Number one of course is to understand the expressed ideas and to communicate ideas to others. Now we have three characteristics of mathematics language. The first one is it is precise, it is concise, and it is powerful. Mathematical language is precise because it is able to make very fine distinctions or definitions. This is why mathematics is considered as an exact science. Also as an example with this, say for example with the numbers, we have a very fine distinctions with the different illustrations or formations of numbers. Say for example, 1 is different from 2, is different from 3, and so on. We must also know the context. So in every problem, we have different units that is being considered. Say for example, if we're talking about temperature, we must talk about the degree Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit or Kelvin. If we talk about measurements, so we have different type of uh, measurements in length. We have the centimeter, the kilometer, meter, and so on. If we talk about degrees or angles, we talk about the degrees. So we must know the context of a given situation. And of course, in mathematics, we must know the convention. Mathematical convention is a fact, name, notation, or usage which is generally agreed upon by mathematicians. So example, PEMDAS. We use PEMDAS as a sequence of operations to be used in a given mathematical formulas or expressions or sentence. We also have these mathematical symbols. We have the operators, the four basic operators, the plus, minus, multiplication, and division. We also use variables and other Greek letters. So mathematical language is concise. It means that we can able to say things briefly. So phrases and statements can be transformed into mathematical expressions or sentences. So say for example, now what is a mathematical expression? It is a finite combination of symbols numbers or letters that is well formed according to the rules that depend on the context and it has no complete idea or thought. So later we'll discuss mathematical sentence in which it is the opposite of mathematical expression. It has a complete idea or thought whereas in mathematical expression it has no complete idea or thought. So we have these examples. So 4x negative 5 times the quantity of m plus 2 5 plus 2, you have 2e or 2 times e and x plus y. So this, all of this has no complete idea or thought. So mathematical language is concise, so we have this. So the sum of 6 and a number. So mathematical language is concise because we can write these phrases in a simple expression. So we have this x plus 6. When we say of a number, you can choose any variable. So I choose here, I chose six, uh, x, I mean. So the sum of 6 and a number is x plus 6. Or you can have 6 plus x. Next, 8 more than a number. 
So this is y plus 8, or 8 plus y. Next, a number plus 5, so this is very literal. So I chose n as my variable, so a number n plus 5. Next, a number decreased by 7. So decreased by 7, obviously that is subtraction. So a number x minus 7. 10 times a number is just 10n or 10 times n. 3 less a number or less than a number. If we have this uh, phrase uh, less than, so we must interchange the position of this a number and this three so my cross so we will start with a number so x minus three so three less than a number but if we have less not less than so a number less than so we do not need to cross these two numbers so automatically this will have x minus 10 so a number minus 10 but if it's less than we will interchange their position so a number which is x minus 3 next 4 more than twice the sum of two numbers so we have here twice the sum of two numbers so we have x plus y as my two numbers so twice is 2 so x plus y this quantity times 2 4 more than, so I can have this plus 4. So this is now 4 more than twice the sum of two numbers. 5 less than half of a number. Again, this is less than. So if that is less than, so again we will cross. So half, we will start with half of a number and then minus 5. Okay, so all of these are expressions because it has no complete thought. Now let's go to mathematical language. So mathematical language is powerful. Why? Because we can able to express complex thoughts with relative ease. Okay, and also, uh, as what I've told you earlier, that sciences or other field of sciences use mathematical exp uh, mathematical language formulas to express complex thoughts with relative is okay so for example if you want to convert uh, uh, from your temperature from kelvin to celsius to fahrenheit we have a formula for that so for example we have the uh, famous formula for the for the what do you call this one the formula of Einstein the E is equal to mc squared that is and we also have other formulas in chemistry and in physics okay so mathematical language is powerful and in the future if there are, we have some future phenomenon then Mathematicians or other scientists will again make some modeling or functions that will explain such phenomenon. So again, mathematical language is powerful. Now let's go to the component, components of a language. Now a language has a vocabulary. So it has symbols or words. It has also grammar. And of course, a community of people who use and understand this symbol. And we also have a range of meanings that can be communicated with these symbols. In mathematics, also, we have these vocabularies. We have a series or lots of symbols or of words that is used in this language. And of course, grammar is very important to understand what really is going through with this uh, equation or formula if we need to add to subtract if it's less than if it's equal and so on and of course the people who are using this must understand this symbol 
Just like any ordinary language, mathematics also has syntax and structure. But one distinct characteristic of mathematical language is its being non-temporal, meaning it has no tenses. It has a collection of objects like symbols, numbers, operations, sets, functions, and equations. It has also certain rules and built-in logic that could govern on the proper usage of this collection of objects. So these objects may be numbers, symbols, etc. And their meanings are shared by global community of people. So the meanings of these objects are the same wherever one comes from and whatever language he or she speaks. So it means that our mathematics in the Philippines is the same with the mathematics in Korea, in America, and other parts of the world. So what are the elements of the mathematical language? Of course, we have the symbols. So we have the digits, the basic operations, and other symbols. We also have nouns, pronouns, verbs, and sentences. So in mathematics, we have this. Now fix things such as numbers or expressions with numbers. So these are some examples of nouns. So they are really fixed. Okay, but in pronouns, of course, it is not fixed. So it could be variables like x or y, meaning it's not fixed, meaning we do not know the value of a given variable. And we also have verbs. When we say verbs, action words, so we have the operations. Okay, and other signs. We have this. Then sentences. Now, sentences, it is, or these are symbols and signs that could be put together to form mathematical sentences. An expression that has a complete idea or thought. So it has now a meaning. Example, 7 is greater than 3. A is not equal to B, and so on and so forth. So these examples have meanings. Unlike in a previous example, it has no meaning. So we need to translate each sentence using mathematical symbols. So 0 is an integer. We can rewrite this one as... 0 is an element of z, where z is the set of integers. Okay, so this is an extension of an example of uh, the, num the second characteristic of language, which is uh, mathematical language is precise. So again, we can rewrite these sentences into its uh, mathematical symbols. So much short. So x is a multiple of 5, so we have this, x is equal to 5k, where k is an integer. x belongs to both sets a and b, so meaning x is in the intersection of a and b. The values of x range from negative 2 to 5, so we have this x is in the interval negative 2 to 5. The square of the sum of x and y is not more than 20. So we have this. The square of the sum, the square of the sum of x and y is not more than 20. So it has a meaning. But if we delete this is not more than 20. Say, for example, we have the square of the sum of x and y alone. So this portion only, it is an expression because it has no complete idea. Okay? So it has no complete idea. Number six, the square of a number is non-negative. So meaning it can be zero or positive. So we have this. The square of a number is non-negative, so it must be greater than or equal to 0. Again, if we have the square of a number only, so meaning this portion only, that is an expression because it has no complete thought. 
Verse 7, the sum of two consecutive numbers is 30. Okay, so actually this is an error. So the sum of three. So since there are three consecutive numbers, so we have here, if, the, if your first number is x, so the next number should be x plus 1. And after x plus 1, the next number should be x plus 3. And according to this, the sum. So the sum of these three must be equal to 30. Now the sum of, I think this is 3 again, 3 consecutive even integers is 12. So if x is your first integer, the next even integer must be plus 2. Okay? And the next integer is plus 4, which is equal to 12. Next, the length of a rectangle is 2 more than thrice its width. So the length, which is L, is means equal. So we have this. The length of the rectangle is 2 more than thrice its width. So thrice its width. So 2 plus 3W or 3W plus 2. Now determine whether the following is an expression or a sentence. Number 1, 13. So it has no meaning at all. It's just number 13. So it is an expression. Number 2, we have this. This is an equation form. So this is, it has a meaning. So it is a sentence. Number 3 is also a sentence that the this difference of M and N is equal to 23. Number 4, 10 plus 2x, it has no complete thought, so it is just an expression. Number 5 also is an expression. Number 6, 4 plus 2 is 6, so it is a complete sentence. And last, x minus 3 is less than or equal to 10. So, meaning that the difference of x and 3 is less than or equal to 10. So it is again a sentence.